Hi, this is Shannon from Vintage Jersey Girl, and I'm going to make a quick video on how to increase your sales um, on eBay and Etsy if you're a reseller. Now, if you don't already have um, accounts on both eBay and Etsy, I suggest that you go ahead and you get one or the other, that whichever one you don't have. Um, if you're unfamiliar with Etsy, it's a store that is mainly for people who sell things that are handmade. Um, if it's not handmade, they have a rule that it has to be at least 20 years old um, to be considered vintage. Um, there's also a lot of antiques on here. And it's, it's really um, a store where it feels a lot more high-end than eBay. These are the people that are willing to pay for quality. These are the people that want to have something really unique and special whereas eBay is the website where people are looking for deals they're looking for things to be really cheap so you just have to keep in mind that these are the audiences that you're selling to and depending on what audience you're trying to reach out to is kind of like the strategy that you should go for um, what I do with my inventory is that I try to list them both on eBay and Etsy if I'm allowed to Obviously, if it's something that's used that's only a year old, I can't put it on Etsy, and it just goes straight to eBay. Um, and there are certain things that will go straight to Etsy because, like, for example, these books right here, they were sitting on Etsy for a couple months before I went ahead and put them on eBay as well. Um, right now, there isn't much that I haven't actually listed on both but I do know that I need to repost this pin. Um, a tip I would give you guys is that you shouldn't really do this unless you're looking at your eBay and Etsy every single day, or you have the apps on your phones that will notify you as soon as something sells on eBay or Etsy. Um, the apps are free, and I really highly recommend getting the PayPal app if you're an eBay seller, just because it lets you know immediately when you're receiving money from someone and that way, for me personally, if I get a message saying, um, you know, item X sold on eBay, I'm going to go and I'm going to take it down from Etsy immediately because you don't want your customer to accidentally, and this has happened to me, granted, it only happened to me once in an entire year, but there were two people who bought the same exact item on the same exact day on both websites. And... You know, you just need to be mindful that that is a possibility and you need to pay attention to your inventory if you're going to do this strategy. Um, what I do first is, since I've already made this listing on, on Etsy, I highlight and copy my title. And I'm going to go ahead and search. Now, eBay's categories um, are very specific. And this is going to be for... Asian and Eastern Indian jewelry that is vintage. And I'm not sure if you're aware of eBay's new system, but they have um, a feed similar to Facebook where you can put in things that you're interested in and it will come up on your main page. So if there's someone out there who's looking for this specific kind of jewelry, um, my item is going to pop up to the front of their feed. That's that is something that Etsy does not have. And there are tons of items that I've had sitting on Etsy for months and no one even touched it. And then as soon as I put it on eBay, someone bought it. So um, it that's not always the case. Um, granted, the, it can go the other way around. I have had things on eBay for a long time and it really took until I put it on Etsy to find the right person because the audience, they're not always the same person. You know, someone might really despise eBay and everything that they stand for and they want to actually go on um, Etsy all the time. So it's good to do both because you're hitting different audiences. Um, I went ahead and copied the description as well, pasting the description. And this is really easy to do because you've already done the work, right? Like you've already gone ahead and taken the pictures, which I'm going to upload right now. You've already written the descriptions. You've already made the choice of, okay, how much am I going to charge for this? And really it just becomes a matter of copying and pasting. And 
the only downside to this is, yeah, it's a little bit tedious. It's a little bit time consuming. But to be honest, what it gives you in terms of sales is worth the time. And if you want to do this for a living, you want to um, increase, even if you're not doing it for a living, this is one of the best strategies to making the most money that you can with the same exact items that you already have on hand. Um, uploading. I don't know why it's so slow. I'm sorry. But I'm going to do free shipping because people on eBay, like I said, are looking for deals and they're really cheap and they love to see deals. And I'm the same way when I shop on eBay. I'm not trying to act like I'm better than anyone else, but it's just the truth. So I probably knocked about $5 off of the price. Um, I am a, I'm, I'm able to do this because I actually keep track of how much money I'm putting into everything, how much I'm getting out of profit. Now, you need to do the math and make sure that you can do something like that, especially since eBay charges a 9% commission fee, whereas e Etsy is only a 3.5% uh, commission. So, um, but honestly, that really has increased my sales and... I'm going to try to make some more tips. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends or something. But I'm going to go ahead and make more videos later on, and I hope this helps someone out there. Thanks. Bye.